Fellow problem solvers, welcome back. Run with stays in the air, as you know. So today we're looking at parallel lines and how much fun you can have in mathematics. You will understand all of what I've just mentioned if you can get to the end of this video. Share, like and subscribe. Good day fellow problem solvers and yes, we're back for more with geometry of straight lines. And today we're focusing on parallel lines. Now, if you know me well, you most probably have heard this statement from my mouth so many times. Maths is fun. Yes, I've said it and I believe it. Maths is so much fun. Today, I'll show you how you can use this statement to remember your angles on parallel lines. So maths is fun. Say it with me, maths is fun. Yes, you can do it, you can believe it. Maths is fun. And to, ta to take it even further, maths has an X factor to it as well. So keep in mind that maths is fun and it has an X factor to it. And this will help you to remember. Now, focusing on parallel lines. These two lines, are parallel okay once you've got parallel lines like over there you will see the following angles will be equal the reason for this is we would refer to them as being corresponding angles a very easy way to understand this is by just keeping in mind that these two angles are corresponding right here this one and that one and that makes them equal so the reason for that we'll say corresponding corresponding angles and very important once you've used the reason for corresponding angles it only applies if there are parallel lines so in your reasoning for geometry anything that's called geometry the moment you make a statement you have to give a reason. So you can't just make a statement. You have to make a statement and then give a reason. And once you've given a reason here for corresponding angles, you have to say corresponding angles and then say which lines were parallel. So let's say it's A, B, C, D. So in this case, you have to then say A, B is parallel to C, D. And that's important and that will help you to get full marks. Second one, co-interior angles. This angle and that one are co-interior. And if they are co-interior, they're not equal, but they are supplementary. What the word supplementary means is they add up to 180 degrees. So let's say this is angle A, and that's angle B. Let's say this is C and that's D. And remember, for this to be true, they have to be parallel lines. So AC and BD are parallel. Okay. So let's call this angle A and we call this B1. And just for the sake of explanation, I'm going to draw a little line there and call this B2. Now, from here, the very first one, you know these are corresponding. So in this example, at the U for fun, A and B2 are equal as well, right? But we know B1 and B2 are angles in a straight line, which makes them add up to 180. So if B2 is equal to A, and B1 and B2 adds up to 180, that means that B1 and A also add up to 180. So we say co-interior angles. Co-interior angles. Remember, when we use this, we have to state which lines are parallel. And that's very important. So that's your full reason. Any statement needs a reason, and the moment you use parallel lines, you have to state they are parallel. So that's the U for fun. Let's go to the end part of fun. These two angles are something we call alternating angles. Let's again call this an A, B, 
C and D. Angle B and angle C are equal. Why? Because they're alternating angles. Uh, just to complete the, the reason here, I would say angle A is equal to angle C. And over here we would say angle A plus B1 adds up to 180. And over here B and C are equal. So we will say alternating angles. Remember, this only applies if the parallel line, so we have to say here that A, B is parallel to C, D. Very important. So we've done the fun part in math. Let's go to the X factor. And that's the one we've already mentioned. Vertically opposite. Okay, this has nothing to do with parallel lines. So I'm just going to separate it right there. But keep in mind, this is a way for you to remember it. So fun, maths is fun, and it has an X factor to it. So let's say this is E, 1, 2, 3, and 4. As stated already, E1 is equal to E3. And we know E2 is equal to E4. The reason over here is vertically opposite And it has nothing to do with parallel lines. There you go. There's a nice summary. So practice identifying this with questions and it will help you a lot. Have a lovely day.